Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus laptop. This one is an Asus X510Q model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade or remove your RAM from the laptop. And people always keep asking what's the maximum RAM capacity that I can have for my PC, for my laptop and people always don't trust you or they're like okay they have a trusting issue. I made a short video and it's about 30 seconds long. I'll leave the link on my video description that you can check in by yourself without needing of any programs or anything like that. What's your maximum RAM capacity and how much RAM you can have on your laptop. You can check that link if you want to know what's your maximum RAM capacity that you can have in here. So, but in this video, I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace them with no issue. By removing the RAMs, you're not going to modify the system. You don't have to do any other configuration or anything like that. These laptops, they have a basic BIOS. That means they're locked in BIOS, so you cannot modify the BIOS or anything like that. So pretty much if you put a high-speed RAM, the BIOS will actually uh, downgrade or underclock that to um, uh, get to its own specific speed. So there is that. So let's keep this video really short and get into it. First thing first, what you want to do, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. And down here, you want to, you want to see a whole bunch of screws. And there's uh, three size screws in here. I believe four size screws. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. It's an iFix a screwdriver set. And these are one of the best screwdrivers out there that I'll be always using. And they have an S2 class steel. You're going to be using a Phillips number zero. And if you want to get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab a curved tweezers if you want to. You might need it, but for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. Uh, guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With this tool, we're going to get it started. First, we're going to expose the hidden screws, which are under the rubber legs at the back. So I don't know why they put it there, but yeah. So lift up the rubber legs that have a little adhesive. You can put a double-sided tape in there if yours is not sticking well. Once you remove these ones, you're gonna see two black screws exposed out. You're gonna remove these screws and keep them in one pile. Now, the short screws are the corner front end of the laptop, these two. This one over here is broken, the bottom, so it's not, no matter how much I spend, it will not come out because it's broken. The client dropped it. So I'm just going to remove this side. So you guys can see it's at the short screw. Now, there's another long screw. It's the only one that is at far back. This one right here. So remove this one first. So now we have the three ones. The long chrome screw, the two black ones, and the two short ones on the corners. Remember, this one is short too. Now, the rest of the screws are the medium size. So we're going to start removing all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It will be a tremendous support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right. Now that we remove the medium screws, we're going to put them in a different pile right there. Oh, I forgot one right at the back. Now, what you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. And you want to just twist it backward until you hit that click. Those are the clips that are getting loose, so you want to do that all around. I think this one has a little glue on it, so let me clean up that the glue is right in here. So you want to do that in the corner back too. Lift it up. You want to work yourself on the back grill right here, stick it right in here and keep twisting it until the whole thing comes out. Work yourself. The sound that it makes, it sounds really awful. You feel like you're breaking it, but that's fine. You're not actually breaking it. You want to work yourself all around on the side. You can do the front end too, if you wish. Do the same thing on the front end. Lift up. And once you finish with all those, all you need to do is to grab it from the side, bring it up, wiggle it around, and it will loose up. You see my screw head is broken, my screw 
but it holds it broken so it's the basic thing you can put a lot of glue there and that's it all right down here we're gonna see the ram dims right in here there's a one extra ram dim available this one is being covered with this black thing right here so yeah anyway to remove the RAM, people always say remove the battery to do the RAM upgrade, but you do not need to remove the battery to do RAM upgrade or hard drive replacement or anything like that. But if you want to be paranoid, easy to remove the battery is to pull this trigger. To grab this trigger with your finger, pull it back. This metal cover, you want to pull it back a little bit as long as it's over the white space. And then what you want to do, you put your fingernail in this side and lift up on the same thing on this side, lift up. And the battery will get disconnected. To put it back to it again, it's straight over, push it down towards the motherboard, and push the lock over the jack. And that's it. To remove the battery, it's really easy. All you need to do is to grab these two triggers. You want to pull them away from each other. And the, I mean the battery, the RAM will come out. I don't know why I'm saying battery. The RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. Make sure you do not pull the ram upward otherwise you're going to crack the ram or the dim you want to pull it out in the same 45 degree that it came it was in so this ram has a little cover on it this is an 8 gig ddr4 ram 266 hertz you can put another 8 gig in here so you have 16 gig easily you don't need to have this cover on it it's kind of useless but yeah they have it all you need to do is make sure the notch on the ram matches the notch on the dim you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the jack and you want to push it towards the motherboard and the locks will open and close and softly and make a nice click let's say if you have another ram you want to make sure the notch matches if i put it that way around the notch is not matching so it's not going to go through so i'm going to flip bring it down 45 and towards the motherboard same thing, remove, bring, put it down. And that's how you upgrade the RAM on your laptop. Once you upgrade the RAM, uh, you don't need to put the bottom cover on to power on. You wanna, once you install it in, open it up, plug in and power on and wait five to 10 seconds. If you don't get anything on the screen for five to 10 seconds, then you wanna power off, remove both of the RAMs, put the new RAM in here, and then power on. Once you get the logo, power it off, and then put the second RAM or the old RAM on the second dim and then again power on wait to five to ten seconds. Sometimes the BIOS will not detect the RAM right away, so you need to do switching around, doing some work around, but mostly it does work with no problem. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back together, plug it back in. Next, you want to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, squeeze the corners down, make sure you that click, it clicks on the back back middle everywhere right there in the front and you want to put the black screws under the rubber legs first and the long chrome screw in the middle the short ones in the front corners and the medium all over the place i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you did you know what to do click the like and subscribe to support the channel if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.